God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Tuesday, October 13th. Today's devotional is based on Psalm 25, verses 1 to 9. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let me let my enemies exalt over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O, o Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Mark Douglas. Psalms may be full of praise, but they are not simply praise music, meant to carry us out of the human condition into the realm of glory. They ask instead for God to be present in this condition, to engage enemies, to respond to tears, to take care of the faithful. As jarring as it may be in the rarefied and tolerant air of comfortable contemporary Western liberalism, Avoiding defeat in front of one's enemies and shaming them instead in a, in a, is a prayer that makes sense in the context of a life in which pain and suffering are regular occurrences. Real enemies are nearby and misfortune is only a day or a season away. And Douglas leaves us with this question today. Is it ever right to shame another person? And if so... In what circumstances? Let us pray. Be present in the lives of those who live in danger. Amen. Now receive into your hearts and into your lives the blessings of our Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional. I hope you join me again tomorrow. Till next time, stay safe, stay healthy, practice social distancing, keep washing your hands, and when you are in public, wear a mask. God bless.